Want to know more about the Prophet Oracle cards? Stay tuned to find out. Hi everyone, I'm Casper, the Boy Diviner here today, and I wanted to do a quick review of the Prophet, the Oracle card set. Before I begin, if you enjoy reviews like this, please hit the like button and subscribe because it will really help me out. Okay, thank you so much. Maybe we can cover some of the basics about this um, Oracle deck. This Oracle deck is a Blue Angel Oracle deck. You can see it here. And it does come in a really nice two-piece box. Boom. Something just... <laughs> so just wanted to show you the box really quickly. It's a two-piece box that closes nicely and has the, the cutouts so you can lift it open easily. Okay, inside there is a, it comes with a guidebook and the cards itself. I think the box is really good quality. So I, I feel like um, it's a good buy. Okay, because um, you know, sometimes when the box sucks or, it, or, or if it's a thin tuck box, sometimes through shipping, despite how much uh, wrapper they put, how much plastic they use, sometimes it comes damaged. This one, I can see the box might be dinged, but the cards itself will not. So I, I like that about this deck. Okay, so after talking about the box, I wanted to quickly go into the cards. You can see a walkthrough of the cards. I'll show it to you really quickly here. You can speed it through.
card stock is really good. I think you should be able to see during the um, walkthrough about how, in a way, I feel like this this deck doesn't have any kind of um, lamination. Um, but you can see there's an, a small issue here. Some people don't like this in decks. Some people don't like when cards go from upright to landscape. To quickly describe the deck, they have quotes from uh, the book, The Prophet. So they show you quotes from it, and then the corresponding chapter. So it's more of a one card draw. I wouldn't do like a Celtic Cross with this deck, okay? Not a Celtic Cross deck, more of a one card draw deck. And it's beautiful, the art is beautiful. I really like the cards, I like the card stock. It is very matte, and it feels really nice. There's no lamination, which may, may mean that, you know, the quality of the cards may go down after some time of using, but to me, that doesn't matter because used decks have their own beauty as well. Um, they're slightly large for shuffling, but I can still overhand with no problem. But I would argue that if you do have small hands, you might want to think about whether you want to get this. Because you can definitely do um, this Hindu shuffle. Hindu shuffle or overhand, I forgot, I, I mixed it up. I think this is the uh, overhand. Overhand is okay because it's not super long. Something about the deck is that I like the backs. But this art is also used in the Oracle deck, so that sometimes makes me feel a bit uncomfortable. I, I don't know why it makes me feel uncomfortable. Just, just strange to have a card that has the same image on the back and the front. This is the back, and then this is the front. Isn't that trippy? It, it's trippy to me, it makes me feel strange. So the vision of one lends its, not its wings to another. Let's move on to the guidebook first before we talk about my overall feelings. The guidebook here is really good. The guidebook covers um, the introduction about Khalil Gibran. Um, I think this introduction is written by Leela J. Williams. So she wrote about uh, Khalil Gibran's uh, history. This whole guidebook was compiled together, the art and everything. They were compiled by Tony Carmine Salerno. So the first few pages covers the, um, the 40, 42 cards in the deck. So they give you the, the, the actual sentence that was there, the chapter from the book, and then the paragraph that contains that, that sentence. Ideally, you would read the whole book. So The Prophet is an actual book, a really short uh, summary of essays by Khalil Gibran, talking about a prophet who, who is leaving his, his city that he has been staying in, and people gather to say goodbye to him, and he asks them, like, do you want me to comment on certain topics? And they throw things out, like love. So ideally, you would read uh, the book first before you do the oracle cards, but if you don't have time, I think that's fine. I, I didn't finish reading it before using the deck. I do like this guidebook. It's really nice. The material is really nice, really really matte also. Um, and I like paper inside. I don't like glossy pages just because um, I like to make notes if I can um, when I take, have time to do that. So I do like this paper. Um, the guidebook is split into two. You can see it here. Okay, it's not going to focus, I think, but you can definitely see that there is the black and the white. The black portion is the actual, the prophet book. The white portion deals with the cards and maybe the, the, the pictures and the sentences of the cards and the paragraphs where that sentence came from. My overall feelings about this is that it's very positive. I enjoy the, I enjoy the writing. I enjoy the images that, this, these are also painted by Khalil Gibran, so that's lovely. This is definitely value for money because it has the actual full book, The Prophet, in the guidebook. So you're not only getting cards and you know snippets of writing, but you actually get the whole Prophet book. So if you want to buy the book, you might as well get the Oracle deck, right? I did enjoy using this deck. I like the feeling of it when I shuffle. I enjoy some of the messages that, that they give me, but sometimes some of the messages really get quite cryptic. You know, I used to be a literature student. I mean, most of us studied literature back in school. I find it a bit hard to understand some of the language sometimes. English is my native language, but maybe it's the archaic um, nature of the, you know, the time period where he's from. Um, it takes me some time to really try to dig in, or sometimes you know it's the kind of spiritual, the high level kind of language. So like this one. Make not a bond of love. I don't know what that really means, especially coming from a chapter of of um, marriage. So it's trying to tell me not to love someone. Um, and then when you look at the paragraph here, it says, it's, it's much clearer when you see the paragraph, but you see when you see that message by itself, it doesn't feel super positive. It says, but let there be spaces in your togetherness 
and let the winds winds of the heavens dance between you. Love one another, but make not a bond of love. Let it rather be a moving sea between the shores of your souls. So it's trying to not tell you not to make bonds of love. You can love them, but you should leave space for you for two of you to grow. Something like that, you know? So that's why I feel like you need the guidebook when you're reading the deck here because some of the sentences by themselves are not super clear. Um, even with the guidebook, sometimes it's not super clear. Okay, so like this one. It's a beautiful card. The measureless and the immeasurable. So what does that mean? What's the difference between the measureless and the immeasurable? To me, I, I, when I see this quote, it's beautiful. I feel somehow touched by the imagery and the and the quote itself, but I don't know what it means for my for my day. And then when you look at the guidebook, it doesn't super help a lot for this in this case. Of time, you would make a stream upon whose bank you would sit and watch its flowing. Yet the timeless in you is aware of time's like timelessness, and knows that yesterday is but today's memory and tomorrow is today's dream. And that which sings and cont contemplates in you is still dwelling within the bounds of that first moment which scattered the stars into space. Who amongst you does not feel that his power to love is boundless? So I don't know. I, I, don't, <laughs> I don't know. It's difficult. Some of these messages are difficult to understand. So for that... For that um, practical reason, I don't recommend that this is a deck that you use for people. Uh, if you are a new reader or someone who hasn't used this deck as much, I've only had, I had this deck for two weeks and two, two weeks or more and, and I still don't get some of the messages. I suspect it's because I haven't reached that chapter in The Prophet. I haven't gotten the nuances right yet. So I can't confidently recommend this for people who want to do readings for other people. But if you want some journaling practice, you know, where you have that prompt, the immeasurable and the measureless and the immeasurable, I think that's beautiful. I think this is a good journaling uh, card deck, oracle deck. I have not done that though, even though I journal. I, so far, my journaling, pro, my journaling practice has been more practical than, than inspirational. But maybe this would be one of the decks that I would use if I do start to, you know, try to free ride or something like that. Okay, before I end the, the review, which is a positive one overall, I do enjoy this deck and I really think there's a lot to contemplate on if you get this deck. Um, let's draw a card for our day. Okay, thank you for watching until this point. Let's get a message out here, okay? Okay, this card, let's take it out. What a beautiful image. In the dew of little things, the heart finds its morning. So there are small things that people do for you, that you do for people, small things that you can appreciate and show gratitude for. I think this is beautiful. I'm going to take a look at the, the, the paragraph here. For what is your friend that you should seek him with hours to kill? Seek him always with hours to live. For it is his to fill your need, but not your emptiness. And in the sweetness of friendship, let there be laughter and sharing of pleasures. For in the dew of little things, the heart finds its morning and is refreshed. How beautiful is that? The, his writing is really impeccable. I can tell why this, the prophet, the book was so pop popular. I think it's a bit deep, a bit deep, maybe too deep for me in some cases. I, I feel like it's a, it's a deck that is worth exploring for anyone who's interested in this kind of messages, this kind of deep thinking and thought, which I don't regularly do. This is the first Oracle deck that I have with uh, long messages like that. Usually mine, mine are all like one word, one word. I really recommend this deck. It's really value for money, considering you get the full book, uh, along with a guidebook and the beautiful images by Khalil Gibran. Okay? Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Um, please leave a like and subscribe again if you thought this use this review was useful. I'll be coming up with reviews for reviews or at least walkthroughs for most of my decks that I use. Okay, you guys have a great rest of the day. You take care. Bye. That's one thing about this deck. Sometimes, even though I believe, I okay, okay, okay.